Uh, uh, hi everyone and welcome back uh, to this uh, series of uh, electrical A1 circuit PEO exam and this is the fourth question uh, I'd like to solve about uh, Thevenin equivalent and this would be basically an AC question and this is from the exam of May 2018 so this is before the, the COVID. Uh, the good thing here about the A1 test for most of the tests it's very consistent before and after basically the COVID era. And the Thevenin equivalent question is a very standard question, uh, as we will see here. Now, this question is very interesting because it looks complicated, but the answer is extremely easy, as we will see here. So it says find the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin impedance between A and B. Then what is the load impedance if connected here? Basically, you will have maximum power dissipation through ZL. And what is this maximum power that will be dissipated? So this is a very, very standard question that is uh, uh, about uh, Thevenin equivalence. So let's start the question. So let's start by finding the V Thevenin and Z uh, Thevenin. Now, for the V Thevenin, is the V open circuit. So I'd like to find this. V Thevenin is the open circuit between these two points. Now, all of this basically is just one node, and this is also one node. So the voltage between A and B is the same as this. So this is also basically uh, here. This is also A, this is A, and this is B. So the voltage that I'd like to calculate is exactly the same as this voltage between across the 4 ohm and the source. So the voltage between from here to here is the same as this V theta. Now, when you see here, this is a current source. The current source will go up, basically. It will not go to the right because this is an open circuit. So the current here, this is you will have four angle of zero and the whole current will be going this this way. So it means that the voltage across the 4 ohm is the four angle of zero plus the 4 ohm and this is a voltage source so basically your v thevenin is nothing but the 4 ohm times 4 angle of 0 plus 50 angle of 45 as simple as that just the voltage between this point and that point which is the voltage a drop plus the voltage source. And when the current goes this way, this would be the, the polarity. And when we calculate this, this is 62.35 angle of 34.55 volt. How about Z Thevenin? Now, this basic circuit is has only independent sources. So to find Z Thevenin, there are two different ways. There's the generic way, which you, you find the short circuit here, find I short circuit current, then your Z Thevenin would be V Thevenin divided by I short circuit. And I have uh, at least one question using this approach. However, if basically your circuit has only independent, so what we'll do, any voltage source will go to a short circuit, any current source will go to an open open circuit. So let me redraw the circuit and do this change in the circuit to find the Z Thevenin. So basically here you will have the 4 ohm. We will have here the minus J4, the 6 ohm, J 28 ohm. This would be a short circuit. So the voltage supply would be a short circuit. And the current source would be an open circuit. So now I want to find Z Thevenin between A and B. Okay. Now, when you look here to this impedance, it's basically 6 plus 8, 14 ohm and minus J4 plus J20 plus J22. However, this impedance is basically short-circuited. So there's a short circuit 
that short this circuit so this would be basically zero so your z thevenin would be the four ohm as simple as that very straightforward as i said the question looks difficult but basically it is very very trivial and easy question now let's go to the second one. what is the load impedance zl which be connected between a b for maximum power transfer now your z L will equal to Z thevenin conjugate for AC. This is the generic one. But our Z thevenin is only equal to 4 ohm. There is no imaginary part. So this would be equal to ZL. So your ZL will equal to this 4 ohm. Finally, what is the maximum power transfer? P max is equal to V thevenin squared divided by 4 RL because this is just an R. This resistance so basically this is equal to 62 this is we take the magnitude 62.35 square remember p real power is a scalar so only magnitude 4 times 4 and this will give me 242.97 so as you can see from this question looks complicated ec thevenin but basically just a few steps uh, and you can basically solve. Now, you can solve this using different techniques. You can go for mesh analysis, no model. You will end up having many equations, and you will end up having exactly the same, the same result.